Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Timer started 20 minutes, let's do this. Okay, so today's video I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I One of the YouTubers I like to watch is called Emily Boo, and she recently did a video that was 41 odd things about me. So I thought I would do that as well. Um, I think it's a fun way for you guys to maybe get to know me if you don't know me at all. And if you do, maybe get to know me a little better. So let's get right into it. Oh, also, if you could please like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Okay, <laughs> number one, do you like blue cheese? Um, no, I'm vegan, but um, even before I was vegan, I definitely did not like blue cheese. Coke or Pepsi? Uh, probably neither. <laughs> um, I, I don't tend to drink a lot of this kind of sodas. I drink Zevia, which is like a stevia based soda. Um, but even then I would say if I'm out, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, they, I mean, they're different tastes, but they're still just sugar. So I don't know. I know people are very divided on it, but for me, it's still, I call it Coke because I grew up in Tennessee and I just call it Coke. Dark Cola is Coke. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Do you own a gun? No. <laughs> um, but I probably own a water gun. So there's that. Whiskey, tequila, or vodka? Um, probably vodka, honestly, because it's the easiest to mask within like the context of cocktails like I can just add a bunch of like simple syrups and fruit and that kind of stuff um but I do also sometimes like bourbon um I don't know I don't drink a whole lot of hard liquor but between those two honestly is typically my preference hot dogs or cheeseburger so if we're talking like vegan options probably the beyond meat spicy Italian sausage like one of my favorite things. I love that stuff, whether it's like actually as like a hot dog kind of version or a sausage or like crumbled into like spaghetti or whatever. Um, that or the impossible burger. I mean, neither are healthy, but I don't think that's really the point of this. So favorite food. I, I guess if we're talking like genre of food, um, I mean, this is very wide open, but I would say like Asian food. I really love like sushi, um, veggie sushi, obviously. Um, or, oh my gosh, I love Thai food as well. Um, but man, I don't know. I'm, I'm that kind of weirdo that really loves like a lot of little bits of everything. Like the perfect place for me would be somewhere I can get like really good French fries sushi, tacos or nachos, <laughs> um, ice cream, and then maybe like a really good salad. I know those all sound like they'd be terrible in a meal together and they might be, but I tend to crave them all at once. So yeah. <clears throat> mm, what do you drink in the morning? Um, I typically drink water. Um, I don't know, it's the easiest thing to take my meds with. Um, although lately I have been drinking more like coffee, which isn't great. Although I tend to add so much like chocolate syrup and coconut creamer that at that point it's not so much coffee. It's just like a really sugary drink, which is not healthy at all. But, uh, for the most part, I try to stick to water if I can. Mm, oh, sorry. I am like looking at Miss Emily Boo's. YouTube thing that has the list of questions. So that's why I keep looking off to the side in case you're wondering. Um, can you do a hundred pushups? Yeah, absolutely not. Um, first of all, I mean, this hand is super jacked up, so I can't like, I can't hold myself up with my hands. Um, and then this one, like I have like weird nodule growing. So I'm just the epitome of strength right now, <laughs> but no, I cannot do a hundred pushups. I don't even know if I could do like one. Um, sad as that is. Summer, winter, spring, or autumn? Uh, autumn, for sure, because I love when the trees start to change color, all the leaves. It's just like this 
fiery beautifulness of all the reds, orange, and yellow, and also Halloween. Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday, and like as soon as summer ends, or even sometimes now in the middle of summer, Halloween stuff comes out, and I'm just such a happy person during Halloween. It's amazing. Favorite hobby? I have a lot of hobbies. Um, I love crocheting. I love doing jewelry. Maybe not so much anymore. My hands kind of can't manipulate stuff as easily, but I still enjoy it and learning about it and watching videos about it. Um, doing resin stuff, painting. Um, oh my gosh, I have so many things because downstairs in the basement, um, we have a utility shelf and there are like tubs of like probably every craft you could do, except for maybe soldering. I can't use a soldering machine because of my defibrillator, but I would love to learn it. <laughs> uh, gardening as well. I mean, it's so pretty today. The first day in like forever that it's like 67 degrees out. It's amazing. And I went outside and even though half the plants are dead, it was just nice to kind of get out in the garden. So that as well. But really, I can't pick. I have too many hobbies. Tattoos. Yes, I have four tattoos. Um, first one is this, my little campfire one. Um, I have, you can see that one, my little helm of all. That was my first tattoo. Um, and then up here I have a whisk with some pumpkins. And then um, up on my shoulder I have a chakra mandala on my shoulder. So um, and I'm hoping maybe later this year after all the quarantine craziness wears off to get a um, like garden type sleeve on my forearm so I'm excited for that can't wait <laughs> um do you wear glasses yes phobias I don't love snakes I really want to and I'm trying to get over it but I just don't um, other than that, probably not much. I have a lot of health anxiety, but I don't necessarily think that's a phobia. That's just anxiety. <laughs> hmm, nicknames. I don't really have a nickname. I mean, I go by Jenny. My legal name is Jennifer. Um, you know, Craig, my husband, or, you know, sometimes family or really close friends call me Jen. But other than that, no fun nicknames three drinks you drink. Well, Zevia. Um, like I said earlier, I, I like the cola version of that one. Um, tea, like iced or hot tea. Um, not a ton of like black tea, but I love herbal teas, green tea, though even some black teas I do enjoy as well, like peach um, teas and mint tea and like, oh, I don't know, all sorts of tea. And then third one, like I do drink water. I try to drink. I don't drink enough, but I do try to drink water. Kombucha. Actually, there's a local kombucha company here in Cincinnati um, called Skinny Piggy, and they make a lavender and white tea kombucha that I am obsessed with. I have so much of it in my fridge right now, so that would probably be it as well. Do you believe in ghosts? I mean, I believe in, like, spirits. But I don't necessarily think there's gonna, like, I'm gonna see, like, an apparition of something. I mean, I don't know. I've never experienced anything like that. So I, sp I suppose there's always the possibility. You never know, I guess. But I just, it hasn't been my experience. But I'm not gonna say it's not there. So I don't know. We just don't know. <laughs> Biggest downfall. Uh, I tend to be quite a perfectionist both of myself and of others, which also tends to make me sometimes a little overly critical of people. And I know that's not great because I also realize we're human, things happen, but there's still a part of my brain that's like, why did we do this wrong, you know? So um, probably being too much perfectionist. Hmm. Rain or snow? Honestly, neither. Um, Snow and the cold make my joints hurt. Rain makes my joints hurt. So I don't really love either. I would say maybe if I'm 
can be completely inside and not have to go out and it probably snow because I do think it is beautiful. Um, I just don't like driving in it because I'm not great at that and I don't love walking in it. Rain, I just, I can't do it all. I mean, I, it's great for the earth and what it does for like the plants and all that, but the grayness and all that, it just makes me depressed and I, I can't, I, it affects my mood too much. Piercings. I have um, my nose piercing. I also have three or well two here and then one on each lobe as well. Um, I wanted to get my septum pierced but I think that part of my nose is a bit too small um, to like actually fit one in. Even if I did get it done it probably would look weird again because my nose is so small. So no. I know I touched my face. I promise I will wash my hands. Quarantine rules. Wash your hands after touching your face. <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> Age, I am 34. French fries or onion rings? Oh my gosh. Both. <laughs> Can we do a half and half little thing? Um, I love onion rings. It's really actually hard to find a good vegan onion ring because um, most times they use buttermilk in their batter. But man, when you can find a good vegan onion ring, it's just it's perfect. Um, although sometimes the wheat in within those batters messes up my stomach with the gluten. But also french fries are really good too. When you find like a perfectly good crispy french fry, it's like, oh my gosh, it just makes your soul happy. So I'm going to say half and half. Will six friends do this? Probably not. Um, if, you, if six friends actually watch this, um, you can do this on your Facebook if you want. I will try and list put the link or put the list of all the questions down below in the description. Um, so feel free to do it on your Facebook or if you're a fellow YouTuber, do it on there as well. Um, I'd love to learn more about you guys. Kids, I do not. I have I have two fur burby fur burbies fur babies. Um and that's about all I want. No no human kiddos for me. <laughs> hmm, favorite color. Oh, I love purple. Um Oh my gosh, honestly, can I just say rainbow? Because, like, I love black, and it matches well with a lot of things, but I also sometimes just want to look like a freaking unicorn and cover myself in every color and glitter, so... Rainbow. <laughs> Employed. Um, currently, no. But, you know, um, hopefully once all this coronavirus stuff goes through then I'll be able to go back to work I um, was a baker at a cafe and so I know we're still open they're definitely trying to make it work so hopefully I can go back to them once this is all done <laughs> what did I say okay can you whistle I can whistle um, I cannot whistle in tune that's why I do not tend to whistle around others because then I just sound like a crazy bird who is losing their mind <laughs> Where were you born? I was born in Antioch, Tennessee, which is like a suburb of Nashville, if you know Nashville. Mm. Brothers or sisters? I have a younger brother. He's three and a half years younger than me. His name is Brian. So, Brian. Ever been arrested? I have not. Um, I was caught for shoplifting when I was in high school. Um, so I got misdemeanor theft for that, did my parole and probation, all that mess. So, um, I'm never getting in trouble again. So that was, that was a scary experience for me. And yeah, fall of the laws, people. <laughs> Surgeries. Um, quite a few. If you've seen my first CHD video I have on the channel, um, I'm pretty sure I've had like at least 11. I am getting ready to have a new surgery on the 30th. Uh, here of March, I'm um, a new defibrillator getting a new battery put in, so that'll make it number 12. Shower or bath? Uh, I love baths, but I find them really hard to get in and out of with my joints and stuff. Um, so honestly, I tend to do shower, although I hate showering too. Both of them exhaust me a lot, like it takes a lot of energy out of me, um, which is why my hair always looks like a freaking mess. So. Honestly, the easiest, whatever is the easiest way to get clean is what I'll do. <laughs> like gambling. No, I have no desire. I'm very competitive, but when it comes to like adding money to that, no desire. Are you a good friend? I try to be. Um, 
I feel like I'm a good listener. I'm not the most talkative and I do tend to have a lot of social anxiety so I don't go out a lot or hang out with people a lot so I hope they don't ever take that as personal against them. It's just my own neuroses. <laughs> so I, I try to be a good person though and hopefully that comes across. Mm. Sorry, I lost my place. Broken bones. Um, I have not, thankfully. I mean, only I have like stress fractures and stuff. I've gotten like those in my feet and whatnot from marching band and whatnot over the years, but no actual broken bones. So, hurrah for me. <laughs> How many TVs in your house? Um, we have two. We have one upstairs and bedroom, which I don't really use a whole lot because it's a Roku TV and the Wi-Fi connection on it is not great. So half the apps end up buffering in the middle of the show so I just tend to watch stuff on my laptop um and then we do have a tv in the living room as well so just two mm, worst pain ever probably recovering from some of the surgeries I've had I know there was one where they when I was 12 and they had to take out my drainage tubes in, in my chest or I guess my stomach and the torso that was very painful I mean just you know healing the incisions and whatnot um after my defibrillator implant was pretty painful honestly last year recovering or during the flu i got the worst chills i've ever had in my life like with five blankets on me still like shivering so much that like my muscles and everything was so clenched up and it was that was painful so i don't really know how to pick from those probably those surgery recoveries have been pretty bad do you like to dance I did as a kid, um, probably because I had a lot less inhibitions <laughs> and then the, I mean there's so many home videos of me just like dancing in the living room so I even like wanted to be a dancer as a kid but uh, I grew up and decided I couldn't handle the anxiety of I guess spotlighting people <laughs> so I mean even at our own wedding Craig and I didn't dance because neither of us really liked the attention which is weird that we let people do whatever anyway probably not. I, I mean, I'm just not good at it. I'm not coordinated. I'm awkward. <laughs> are your parents still alive? Yes, they both are. Do you like camping? I do, especially if I can go with my parents, um, because they are like master freaking campers. Like they have so many supplies. They know what they're doing. No matter what happens, if we get like crazy rainstorms, my dad knows how to like really make some stuff happen and it's just awesome so like I always feel very comfortable camping with them and I love it and just being outside even if I you know tend to have trouble with hiking or or whatever physically like just being outdoors is really nice and calming and rejuvenating for me so love camping are you weird <laughs> this is the last question are you weird um yeah I guess I'll let you guys decide that I'm gonna say probably I think we're all weird in our own way. That's what makes each person awesome. So I don't know. I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be proud of that answer. So um, yeah, that's the final question. Thank you guys for watching this. I really hope everyone is being okay out there. I know the quarantines and all the stuff with the coronavirus is really scary. So please take care, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Um, we'll get through this. I know it's a hard time for a lot of us, but, um, we can do this. So thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to like the button, um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, love you guys. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye.